praise the Lord. <laughs> I just deleted a couple of uh, pictures and my camera's working. What am I doing? I took off the master cylinder from my 1965 Monza. I just can't believe this camera's working. And I took this master cylinder apart. It's a single master. I wanted to convert to a dual master, but I just want to get the car running. There's a car show coming up this weekend. And uh, you take out the C-clip. After you take off the two bolts, you use your flare nut wrench to get the uh, fitting off. I'll show you the one that I bought later. Anyways, this master cylinder had been working but leaking into my interior. So I took it off the car and the dust cap is full of transmission fluid. <laughs> Sorry, brake fluid. Whoops. Got transmissions on my mind. So I took this thing apart. It comes apart in three seconds. And uh, what do you think? You think this is salvageable? Do you think if I would have flushed the brake system, it would have cleaned that out? Maybe use some thermo here? And I went into my parts supply, and look what I found. Canadian Tire Association, or Associates, Rue Grenet, Grenet Street, Ville saint I think this is for my 66 Skylark that I bought in 1980. And I sold a few years ago, but it's new in the box. And I bet you this thing is uh, 35 years old. You think it's the same thing? You think the Skylark uses the same master as the uh, Corvair? Look at that. I have to remember that the lens is on, where is it? It's on this side, not in the middle. So I keep off aiming the phone device. Look at that. You think it's the same? Look at that. 66 Skylark and a 65 Corvair. Part that I've had in the box for, whoops, sorry. I <laughs> keep forgetting. I had this sitting in the box in my junk pile for almost 40 years. I'm gonna clean this out with some spray cleaner, like that. This is uh, brake parts cleaner, but boy, does it take off stuff. So I'm gonna pause this, clean it on top of my former plasma cutter table and uh, see what it looks like after I put you on pause. Don't go away. All right, what are we now, 30 minutes later? I found my drill, I found my battery, I found my three-legged honing tool. It's got three abrasive tips, and I can't make the video because I need three hands or a tripod. It would be nice. <laughs> oh, this place is too big to get organized. That's the problem when you buy a huge place. Let me just unplug this wire. I was looking at the seals in the new one, and when I was cleaning it, one of these things fell out of the old cylinder. And the instructions are more instructions how to do the job. The print is tiny. When I turn the camera off, I'm going to look at this. Spring, valve, piston, clearance, bypass port, reservoir tank, main tub. Hmm. I found another one in my pile of junk. It's also a Delco Marine. It's got that D0, whatever it is. Boy, this is real clear. And this one differs in that it has a bleeding port. Where are we? This one doesn't have a bleeding port. The one that was on my 65, but the one that I found has a bleeding port. And it looks a lot better inside. Maybe I'll take it apart and look to see what it looks like. But I'm gonna try. <laughs> the guys on the Corvair form are gonna kill me. I'm gonna try and rebuild it with the old seals because they look perfect. And I've done this before. Yeah, I know, taking your life in your hands. This thing would focus. These cups look perfect. Made in the USA. But where did this thing come from? I've got to figure out where this goes. I have to Google it. I cleaned everything thoroughly with this. Uh, someone told me this is petroleum based kerosene cleaner. But I'll just flush some brake fluid through it. I think anything will be better than what was in there. I've got to keep figuring out where the lens is. I keep forgetting. So I'm going to try rebuild it with the old parts. I don't think they're that bad. This isn't focusing very well, but there's no nicks in this. It's amazing how good it looks, even though there was rust in the bore. So I'm going to spray a bit of this brake clean in <laughs> as lubricant. And then hone it a little bit and see if I can clean it up. I know a rebuild, rebuilt one is cheap, but I don't want to spend any money. And my emergency brake works well that I cable tied together. It was broken, so I use a piece of 
used cable and I used four cable ties. And I've done this before with my spider, which <laughs> is right over there. And the brakes work. These things are real simple. This is low tech stuff, like when it doesn't start, just pump more gas. Oh, look what's pouring out of it. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Oh, good juices. Yeah, these brakes were working. It was just leaking into the interior. Yahoo! Yeah, get those crosshatch marks. Crank her up! All right, I'm going to tinker around with this thing and I'll put you back on pause and hopefully I won't turn it off. Oh, the counter's going. Oops, I just dropped some parts. You like my new vise? I bought this several years ago for 50 bucks. It's a machinist vise and it's really heavy and it was really cheap. Anybody got a vise? I'll be going to the homecoming west of Detroit, Plymouth, Michigan. Bring one there. I need a big vise. Big one with a big jaw, bigger than that. So I've been honing this and I've got a spot of rust, but I don't think it matters. See that speck in there? Where's my little screwdriver? See that right there? But I don't think that matters because all the action happens further up. This is just a seal to keep the oil from running backwards into the vehicle past this dust cup. There's this piston here that goes in like this. Goes in, that's where the piston goes from the brake pedal. So we'll see. I've got another cylinder that I showed you with the bleeder on it. I took it apart. Yep. El Mucko. So I'm going to clean this one out. Try, try to take some pictures for my buddy Nick. He was in Florida right now. It wasn't hot enough in South Carolina. Pretty nasty, huh? And the inside of the cylinder, the reservoir, looked really good. I don't know where I got this. Probably from a Corvair show. So... And I know where this thing goes. This is just a bottoming stop. I found it inside here in the bottom. See it? It's just a bottoming stop. These are really simple. The dual ones are more of a problem. I've bought rebuilt ones for the last 35 years and they're sketchy. They work, they don't work, you never know. And they've got these new ones now that are probably made in China and the rebuilt ones are rebuilt in China and everything's made in China. So, I guess I'll stop this video because I don't think it'll post. It's already seven minutes long, almost eight minutes. It's long enough. I'm going to clean this up thoroughly and put it back together with some brake fluid and bench bleed it and see what happens. Give her a shot. And I'll tune you back in in a few minutes. Lots of good parts on my sheet metal cutting table. You like this? Angle sheet metal equipment incorporated. You pull this thing this way and it cuts your sheets of steel in that way and you got some electric magnets. It's not plugged in now. But this has got to go, this cutting notching apparatus. You need a big shop for it. And I need the room for more junk. Just got a text message from a guy. He's got another piece of junk to sell me. I'll give you a hint. It's big and gold and it swims like a bull.